what's up you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here today's video if you couldn't tell from the thumbnail and the title is going to be a what's on my iPhone video this video has actually been pretty requested for a while now but I just recently got a new phone and I figured I would wait until I got a new phone opposed to doing it on my older iPhone that I've already done a what's on my iPhone video for so I now have the 6 plus and I am in love with it I like am obsessed with this phone it's so big but I'm in love with it so I got it in the silver color and it has just a case from Verizon on it I do get a lot of questions about this case but it's just from Verizon I already have a how I edit my Instagram pictures video and it's relatively the same I did change my theme up a little bit though so if you do want an updated how I edit my Instagram pictures video let me know by thumbsing this video up and commenting down below but I will have the old video linked in the description box down below so definitely check out that video so you can get an idea of what kind of apps I use. But with all that being said, let's just jump right into this video and see what is on my iPhone. So I like to categorize my apps into folders. I find that it works best for me and I know where everything is and I don't really like when my phone has like a million apps everywhere. So this is just how I personally do things. So starting on the top row, I have messages, photos, camera, and contacts. Those are all pretty self-explanatory. I don't think I need to go into those. But underneath that, I have settings and then I have tools. In my tools is where I just keep like notes, reminders, maps, weather, calendar, calculator, voice memos, clock, tips, and then Compass, Uber, and LinkedIn. Um, I don't really know if you would consider LinkedIn and Uber a tool, but that's just where they are. Then moving into the next one, I have social, which is everything social media related. So I have Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, which you should follow me on all of those. The link will be down below and possibly somewhere here on the screen. Um, this is what my Instagram looks like. My feed is pretty much on point right now, I think. I'm kind of changing it up still though, so you'll get a sneak peek a little bit later um, as to what my theme is going to look like when I open up Cam for you guys. Then I have Twitter, as I said. Then I also have Snapchat. Um, you guys can follow me on there too. I post stories. Then I have Timehop, Vine, Pinterest, Tumblr, Facebook, and Fabric. Fabric is an app I'm going to be talking about actually in a haul video coming up because it's where I get my inspiration for outfits. But you should definitely check it out in the meantime. And apparently Dan is getting an Uber because I just got an Uber notification. But moving on, the next category I have is entertainment. And in my entertainment one, I have iBooks because I've really been loving reading lately and I have my iPhone and my iPad both hooked up with the iBooks. So I can be reading on my iPhone and switch to my iPad and it will remember my spot and everything. So that's pretty, pretty sweet. Right now I'm reading Mortal Instruments, City of Bones, and I'm obsessed with it. If you guys have any book recommendations, leave them down below in the comments. Also, I have YouTube, videos, music, Pandora, Fidego, Shazam, and TV Guide. Moving on to the down bar, that's where I have phone, mail, Safari, and Gmail. Mail is my personal email, and then Gmail is my business email, so I like to keep those two separate. Then moving over to the next page that I have. I have a folder called Don't Use. Um, that always makes people laugh when they see that I have a folder called Don't Use. But the iPhone comes with a bunch of apps that I just don't use. So there's like Passbook, Newsstand, Health, FaceTime, Stocks, Game Center, Apple Watch, and Podcasts. Then I also have Messenger. I never use Messenger unless like someone messages me on Facebook. And I know there's like a whole thing about not having like people that should say you shouldn't have Messenger on your phone or something like that. I don't really care if like the government wants to be in my phone go right ahead I don't I don't have anything to hide but those are all the things I have there I don't really use any of those or I don't need to access them very much so I just leave them in that folder and put them on the second page so I don't have to look at them but moving next to that I have a folder called stores and that is where I have my iTunes store, my app store, Ikea store, Postmates, and Grubhub. Postmates and Grubhub aren't really stores, that's more food, but I just kind of threw them in there. Postmates is bomb. Uh, I will have my referral code somewhere on the screen. You guys should definitely try out Postmates and they deliver food for you so you don't have to go out and get it yourself. Late night, I order Postmates like all the time. But then I also have Grubhub. I don't really like Grubhub that much, but um, I have it there. Then moving on to my next one, I'm editing. Now, I actually deleted a lot of editing apps because I didn't really use them. So I really only use VizcoCam and then Perfect365. So VizcoCam, you all know what it looks like, but I will give you a little sneak peek as to what my Instagram feed will look like. Ooh. 
okay? And then everyone knows what that is, I'm pretty sure. If you don't, then just check out the link that I put in the description box to my How I Edit My Instagram Picture video, and you can learn all about it in that video. And Dan's Uber is arriving now, woo, okay. But next to that, I have Perfect365, which I talked about a little bit, I think, in my Instagram video. But basically, I just use that for smoothing skin because sometimes the iPhone does take kind of grainier pictures, like they don't come out the best quality. But moving into the next one, I have a games folder. Now, I'm obsessed with games on my phone for some reason. Um, I still have the Kim Kardashian game, and I restarted it because I played it like when I first moved to California because it was like the big thing. And I was bored one day recently and I was like, we're gonna play the Kim Kardashian game again. But then I have a game called Hungry Shark, which I'm also obsessed with. And when I got my new phone, I had to restart because I wasn't hooked up to Game Center uh, like an idiot. So I had to restart and lost all my progress. I was pretty upset, but I mean, it's just a game. Then I have Scrabble, the free version, uh, Ruzzle, Letter, Charades, Episode, Episodes like Stupid, I don't ever use that, Diner Dash, Draw Free, and then 1010. Uh, you can look up any of these games if you want to know what they are. I'm not really going to go into detail about what each game is, but charades sucks. Uh, so does episode, letters, stupid. I just have some of these here that for if I don't have Wi-Fi, like if I'm on a plane or something, that I have something to play. So like letter, you don't need Wi-Fi for. Um, Ruzzle, I don't know if you do. 1010, you don't. I actually really like 1010. I downloaded that the other day. It's, I really like it. But the only other folder I have is finance, and that's where I have Bank of America and Credit Karma. So, yeah, that is everything that's on my iPhone. Woo! If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you're notified when I make future videos. I'm posting every Wednesday and Saturday now, so that is right. I have a schedule for the first time on this channel, which is pretty amazing, and I'm kind of stoked about it. So if you guys are excited about it too, let me know down below, and let me know what future videos you'd like to see. Since I'm posting now twice a week, I definitely need some video requests and ideas, so definitely let me know down below. And since this was a what's on my iPhone video, I feel like I want you guys to comment down below what your favorite emoji is. Um, I'll put my favorite emoji on the screen or maybe a couple of them because I can't really choose one But let me know what your favorite emojis are down below. Um, I love them all so just let me know which one is your favorite But that is about it. I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Are you kidding? I just recorded this whole video and then a reflector just shut down That has to be a joke That's a joke, right? Let's refilm it again